Right, so basically we're going to be looking at how to change your photo ID and your username on your Apple machine. So first of all, click Systems Preferences through the Apple icon and also click um, User and Groups. And that brings you to this screen here in a minute. So right, so we've got the user controls screen here and we hope to change, um, you know, the Apple ID, which is the photo there, the Dell. Um, but if you if you look um, very clearly, that's under admin and you've got all that user groups that are beneath the um, Barama user I admin. So first we click the padlock um, button there and um, input the MacBook Pro um, user password that you're using logging into your machine so that you can unlock other um, user user groups and um, that are pretty much standard or admin to as well depending on you know how you configured your your controls so basically hover around the Dell picture um, you see an edit button click on that um, and that would bring up you know another screen which would enable you to change your photo so interestingly if we go to default camera and photos we see a couple of photos there but if we go into our photos pane um, there is absolutely nothing there. So with the camera, you can take a photo of yourself and upload that. But in the photo section, you've got nothing, which is quite bizarre. So I might as well go to the photos um, app um, to to um, transfer photos. So I've got a couple of photos in my downloads folder, which I've launched um, with the Finder. So I want to transfer all these photos or drag drag them onto my photos folder um which is here so i click on photos um and click on the finder button or the launch pad and drag highlight all of them photos the images you see in 2020 and drag them onto um, my photos app the application so highlight them i'm just trying to look for um, a comfortable position where i can easily drag them onto um um, the photos um, folder so yeah, it just should be right about here yeah, that's good so highlight now and drag them on to that good so I've got them photos about like five photos so a couple of you know people kind of like give up around the you know here because they upload photos into their into their and photos and they go back to the user groups and they click on hover on the edit button click onto photos and there's nothing there um you know sometimes you need to give it a, a little bit of time it will it will upload there on the photos in moments collections or years um it will take it will take some time but it will appear you know consequently or you know subsequently in one of them um folders you know, in under photos. So let's give it a, a bit of a time. But you know, I'm looking through all the other user groups and I can't find anything in photos, despite us, you know, having uploaded um a couple of five, you know, photos, five, five or more photos in the photos application. Yeah. So you can just about see this start appearing. So what we need to do is to select one of them photos and update, you know, save, save it onto the, the profile for admin, um, for um, the standard groups and other admin groups, um, you know, so basically that's what I'm doing here. So I'm updating them with individual photos that we saved initially um, in our photos application. But like I said, you need to give it, a, you know, a bit of a bit of time. Um, there are other ways of, you know, getting the photos that you can drag them from your desktop onto your profile. But I think, you know, if you want to be a, a little bit more, a little bit more organized, then, you know, take it to your photos folder. So that's pretty much it. I'm just uploading the the rest of them photos. Um, and in a minute or two, we'll be talking about how to um, update your user ID um, or name. So like the Barama, you see the, the Orion, the Ravens Arc. I want to change their names. But I think what, what's interesting here is that you can easily change the standard user groups. and um, But when you want to change the admin groups, or in particular the admin group current user um, make sure that you log out and log in with and log in with one of the other admin um, user so that you can change the current user so here um, I have unlocked the admin padlock for Barama and I'm changing the other users beneath the current user 
and that allows me to change the the other user's name so i'm changing that um, but when I want to change the the Barama admin user, I'd need to log out and log in um, with the Siri um, admin user to change the um, the Barama admin user. Okay, so that's what I'm pretty much doing here. Um, don't change the account name or the home directory; just the full name. If you want to change any of them too, um, they need to to tally. Um, I'll show you how to do that in a subsequent video, but for now, just you know, just alter the um, the full name, and we should be we should be good to go. So basically, the names that I've altered are Siri, um, Demisa, and I'm gonna save them changes. Then you know, log out and log in with Siri to to update the um, current admin user. Okay, so when I log out, the current user would be Siri. Then I'll have to log into Siri to change. To change the barama admin user yeah so that just prevents you from having you know glitches or errors or problems with with logging on um me you know when you're site when you're signing back in okay so basically this is the lock screen for the barama i'd need to log out to actually log back into to siri so it's more preferable to to log out so i've logged out you, you can't see the tick beside the barama now and um, i'd have to log into to siri um to make you know um the user change to barama okay so that's what's pretty much um happening here Right, so just as expected, Siri is the current user, so hit the padlock, log in with the password for uh, the machine. So the password for Siri necessarily doesn't need to be the password for Barama, depending on how you set it, yeah? So signed into Siri, I'm going to change um, the Barama, which was the prior current user. They have both got um, admin privileges, so click on the Barama, right click. It's just more preferable to do it this way to to avoid um, issues. So change only the full name, leave out the home directory and the account name. Um, change that if I want. Um, yeah, to Orion or whatever. Um, and save. Hit the padlock and good to go. So it changed without any problem. Log out um, or restart the system. Um, this is just for illustration purposes. I'd rather save it as Barama, so I've gone back to change it as Barama, but you get the idea, don't you? Yeah, and so you can see we've pretty much changed everything. From We've got Siri, Damisa, Barama as the um, user IDs now, and the profile pictures have all changed for all them three sign-on or log logons on the Mac computer. Don't forget to hit the subscribe, like, um, and share button if you found the information useful. And thank you for listening, and catch up with you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye for now. Bye.